agent uh, should be sending your script out and pushing your cause to the to the people who have new shows Anyone picked who up. Will listen. Yeah, well, that we're in the studios and at Absolutely. dinner parties and. Um, That's right, but um, don't sit back and rely on that. You should be uh, out there trying to do it as well, making your own contacts. But you know, agents also like if you get a show picked up, your agent will then say, "Here's the three writers that I think you guys should read." And hopefully they have the right sensibility for your show. And then agents uh, that you know personally because they're the agents of other people on the show, or they, you know, agents come, you know, agents are constantly coming to tapings on Friday nights and Tuesday nights and, and just kind of meeting you and so that they have a relationship with you. So in theory, they can pitch their clients. Well, I personally think college is always a good idea. I think you learn more about your world. You learn the context of, you know, the the literature that's out there that's been done on stage, and so. But on the other hand, I don't think it's absolutely necessary. I think that. Um, but I think having those four funny. years, or in my case, six years, to kind of hang out with people that interested in what you're doing and kind of learn from them. You know, I um, I don't know that I remember anything that I learned from like undergrad, but I ran a musical theater company that was student run. And that, I remember every single show we did and every problem we had and all of that. So in grad school, we met. And you can get that met... experience without college. Yeah, I so, guess so I think it depends on the individual, you know, whether that's a, a good, breeding ground for ideas for the future or if just getting in and getting experience. But you know, there's also a chance that you're not going to succeed and maybe you should have a degree so that while you're spending the rest of your life trying, if you're passionate about it and you have to be an actor, you have to be a writer, it could take, you know, we know writers who are now unbelievably successful with shows that you know really well that took 20 years to get to the point where they sold that show. And in the meantime, they had jobs. And I think that, you know, a college degree is helpful in, in that respect. We had casting sessions every day. And um, the casting director brings in people, and they read. And you listen to, you know, person after person come in and do it. And you think, oh my god, I have no talent. I, I can't write. And then somebody comes in, and you go, god, I'm a genius. <laughs> because you just wait until you find that person that that makes it their own, that uh, makes you laugh again at your material. And then you have to take them and get it approved at the studio level, and then you have to go into the network, which is pretty torturous. Always torturous. Torturous yeah. experience for everyone. But the, ultimately, I think that a show succeeds or fails by whether or not you've made any mistakes in casting. And you know, usually two or three weeks in, you either say, okay, there's where we went wrong, this isn't going to work, or there's no chemistry between these people, or in the case of the nanny, they were, all um, they were every single one of those actors was brilliant. Um, so we got lucky that you could, you know, when you have a cast like that, there are times when you, you're sitting there trying desperately to think of a joke or a moment, and, you know, you say, well, you know what, it, it just it's fine, Danny will make that work. So it's great to have a cast that you just know um, was fantastic. If you're going to improvise and add something, it, it better, better be, be good. Yeah, and so the I answer would to your do question one, is, and that's all. Yeah, I the mean, answer to your question is, don't change a word unless you do it well. Comedy. You know, don't do it. It's gonna, and and also don't walk in. The writer's often sitting there. Don't walk in and say, well, the script. You know, you, you'd think, well, who would be stupid enough to do this? But you'd be surprised. Don't walk in and say, you know, I didn't think the script scene was very good, so I rewrote it. I'm just going to do it my way there's pretty much no chance you're going to get that job. Um, and for the most part, you do want to hear the scene that you've written because you need to know whether or not to rewrite it or not. A lot of times coming out of an audition, you'll sort of feel like, you know, nobody made this work. The last thing the writer wants to admit is maybe the scene isn't any good. But it's an opportunity for the writers and the producers to, to hear the material. So come in and do the material unless you decide not to take my advice, and then you better be brilliant. <laughs> you know, the people who get away with it is if they have one joke they want to pitch. And that, you can, you know, just slide in one thing. But for the most part, especially in comedy, 
really stick to the words as written because there's because it's important.